And this is Dr. Michael Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for BST 322 Introduction to Biomedical Statistics at National University in San Diego. In this short video, I want to show you how to do a quick t test for one sample data in StatCrunch. So last week, if you're following along in the biostatistics course, we spent the first week doing descriptive data, right? So we looked at the mean, uh, the standard deviation, and so forth, and we described the data graphically. Well, in this week, we're going to actually do hypothesis testing. So we're going to actually look at the data and see if we can get some meaning out of what we see. So in this one, we're going to do a simple example of a salaries in a certain region. And we're going to do a simple t-test on that data. So this is one that I go through often in my second week of, of my course. And this is basically a file called salaries. It's a sample of salaries in, a, one, region of the country, in one region of the country. So the question here is, can we run a sample t-test on the, this data, given that the national salary average for this type of area is $32,000? So our questions are, what is the null hypothesis? What are the 95% confidence intervals, and what do they mean? And when we do this t-test, how do we get the statistic, and how do we interpret that using the software? Well, what you can do is this file, we're going to go ahead and load it into our um, program, but you can also get the file at this web address, or it'll be in doc sharing for, for those of you in the stats course. So looking at the salary data, let's go ahead and load it in. So again, we'll go to StatCrunch. Um, this is 474 salaries. We probably don't want to type them all in here. The easiest thing to do is we'll go and load the data. So all you need to do is download the file from the course page or from the web page. Then you can upload it into StatCrunch. So to load that data set in then, we can either click on load data set from my computer or just click on the data tab. Either one, we can click on load the data from my computer. We'll browse for that file and it's an Excel file. Again, it's going to be in doc sharing for you or on the web at Google Docs. We'll click on load file and that'll bring it into the StatCrunch. So again, here we have the value. So these are salaries, and you can see they're from 474 people. So this would be a lot to type in. It's a lot easier to just load the data in from the Excel file. So to do the analysis, we'll simply click on the Stat tab. We'll go to the T Statistics, one sample, because we have one sample here. We're just looking at salaries. And with data, since we have the data, that'll call up the dialog box as the software will pause for just a bit here and we can choose our variable. So again, we click on salary. We're not really interested in the ID numbers. We click next. Here's where we're going to do a hypothesis test or a confidence interval. So to do the hypothesis test first, this is we're going to test whether or not our uh, sample mean is different from our population. So our population mean here was 32,000 for the area that we're looking at and that's what we want to put in here is our 32,000. So we're going to test this hypothesis that the average of our sample is basically the same as the national average. So that's a null hypothesis, right? That would, there would be no association, no difference. So our mean here should be 32,000 in salary. So we'll click Next. We're going to store that output in the data table and then push Calculate. So it tested this hypothesis, right? So it did the it looked at the t distribution and did the calculation for us. It calculated the test statistic. So all of that is now stored in the in the uh, worksheet for us. So again, here's the the sample mean. These are descriptive statistics like we did last week. It calculated all that for you. Calculated the standard error. The degrees of freedom right is n minus one, so it's 473. And at the end here we have our test statistic, which is 3.0849, and the p-value is 0.00215. So first you want to look at this and say, well, the p-value is less than 0.05, right? Less than 5%. Again, the p-value is the probability of seeing this value of test statistic or higher, right? So we're looking at the t-distribution on that curve, both ends of the curve because we're looking at salaries below and salaries above and as far as being different from the mean. And now our p-value is very small. That tells us that this is a significant result. So there's something about our sample population here is significantly different than the national average. Also, we could look up the test statistic in the back and look for the critical value in the back of the book. This 
this t statistic value should be higher than the critical value for this degrees of freedom. So what we want to do next is look at the confidence intervals. To do that, we're going to simply go back to the stat tab, click on that t statistics, one sample with data, and click on our salary again as our variable, click next, and now we'll click on the confidence interval. We usually want to choose 95%, so we have 0.95 here. What does this mean? This means that if we continue to sample this, this uh, area, this region, we are going to be 95% confident to find a values within a certain range if we keep sampling them. So if we click Next, we want to store that in the table as well. Push Calculate. And if we go back to the table, you can see it added all those values for us. So we'll go back and look at this one. And you can see that it printed out for us the lower limit and upper limit. So if we keep sampling our population, we'll find that 95% 90, of the time, their salaries will be between 32,878 and 35,960. Another clue that our value was significant, right, is our national average, the mean we were testing at 32,000, is not within our 95% confidence interval, right? So if we keep sampling this population, we'll be 95% sure that we won't find people with that 32,000 salary. It means that they may be software engineers, right? They may be lottery winners, but some for some reason, the average sample, the average sample salary here is higher than the national average, and it's just statistically significant. So again, this is a very easy way to get StatCrunch to calculate the one sample t-statistic for you, do the hypothesis test, give you the p-value, the test statistic, and also give you the 95% confidence intervals.